everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Jess and today's video is going to be all about the new Melt Cosmetics Haze Stack and I have it right here it came in this beautiful packaging which has a bunch of super cool glossy pot leaves all over it this is in part of the Hotbox collection this is the Haze Stack just a gentle disclaimer, if the discussion of weed paraphernalia or weed in general offends you, this might not be the collection for you, this might not be the video for you. I definitely don't think that you have to enjoy weed to enjoy this collection, but I think that it makes a lot of the names a little bit more funny and definitely a lot of fun. So I will briefly show you guys what is in the collection. We have Indica, Bogart, Ganja, and this red on the end is Haze. Here we have Indica, which is a beautiful silver. Bogart, which is a peachy gold, Banjo, which is more of a yellowy gold, and Haze here on the end, which is a beautiful cranberry shimmer. I think this collection is super cool, it's super unique, and it's definitely one where you're going to want to bring out your favorite matte eyeshadows to pair with them. They add a lot of fun to the lid. I did just a look with two of the shadows today, but I think you could do a look with all of them and go absolutely wild. This is a look that I saw. She's Just Call Me Tara on Instagram. She's part of the Kat Von D Artistry Collective. She did a look just like this one recently. Uh, with Kat Von D shadows, but I've been wanting to try something with gold and cranberry, and I love the way this look came out, so if you guys would like to see how to recreate this look yourself, then keep on watching. So I'm starting out with one eye already done, so let's go forth and do the other. You guys have already seen me swatch these, and so you obviously know that the pigmentation is Ace, and you know that they're super buttery, super shimmery, I basically decided just to use two colors and not force using all of them. I definitely could use all of them, but this is just for me to play around and get a feel for the eyeshadows in this collection. Today the two shadows I'm going to utilize from the Haze collection are Haze and Ganja. First things first, as always, I'm going to be priming my eyes and doing that on the top and lower lash line just to make sure that none of my shadows budge, move around, crease, run away, all of the above. Now a lesson that I actually learned while doing this eye is that I need to bake. There's some fall down with these shadows. It's a combination of me being really heavy handed and me not setting my base perfectly. So I'm just going to be using a little bit of the Kryolan Anti Shine Powder with a dampened beauty sponge and bake under my eyes. Now that I've been sufficiently baked, pun intended, I am going to be taking Ganja on a short Morphe shader brush and just picking up a little bit of this, I'm going to start packing this in to basically the inner third of my eye. Look at that color payoff. These shadows are super pigmented, like that was just one swipe into the shadow and I'm already glowing and gold. Now with a fluffy Morphe brush, I'm just going to dip into a Z palette that I've built and I'm dipping into a color from Makeup Geek called Barcelona Beach and I'm just going to be running this through the crease just to make blending a little bit later easier. And as you guys can see from this eye, this is going to be a very blown out smoky eye. So do not be afraid of really packing on color and taking your time blending as always. Now back into my Z palette, I'm picking up some of the color Cocoa Bear here, also from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to run that on the outer corner of my eye. Just starting to create that shape that we want to see. Now dipping into my Sugar Pill Pro palette, I'm using the color Love Plus on a nice big Morphe uh, blending brush. And I'm just stamping into that very lightly. And with windscreen wiper motions, I'm just going to softly buff up towards the brow. And I'm doing this because this color is nice and matte. I know that it works really well with the color Haze and it'll basically just make everything a lot more smooth. Now on a Sigma E55 brush, I'm just going to be picking up Haze now, pressing the brush into the product. I'm not swirling, I'm not tapping, I'm just pressing the brush in because the shade is very, very pigmented. 
and I'm patting this on outer third of the eye. Don't be upset if it touches some of Ganja. We're just going to go back in and intensify that in a sec. On a fluffy Morphe brush, I'm just taking a tiny, tiny bit more of Haze and blending that right up into Love Plus, where we just put it. Now on this teeny weeny <laughs> Real Techniques accent brush, I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of Haze. I'm going to run this on the lower lash line, connecting up with where we put Ganja on the lower lash line. With what's left on our Sigma E55, I'm just going to start buffing this under my eye. So I want a nice blown out smoke. Taking that MAC 217 with a little bit of haze on it, I'm just going to buff again back over all of our edges. Dipping into haze one last time with that same brush, I'm just going to pack on a little bit more color to the outer corner. And with that first short Morphe brush that we used, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Ganja and basically re-intensify that inner corner and put it all the way up to the crease. And I'm not cutting the crease, I'm not using any concealer, but I definitely want there to be a delineation and pat it out. Now with the BH Cosmetics 124 brush, I'm just going to buff away my bake underneath my eye. And that worked out much better than it did last time. I had to like redo my concealer and everything. It's just that with red shadows, it is really hard to prevent them from dropping into your concealer, mixing, and then making these pink little dots everywhere. I always just seem to have a little bit of trouble with it no matter what eyeshadow. These sh shadows are super buttery and pigmented, so a little does go a long way. Now inside the waterline, I'm going to be using ColourPop's liner in Dirty Talk. This is just a really beautiful gold that I think looks so pretty with Ganja. Sorry, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time, but basically I'm just running it where Ganja is sitting. I'm not putting it anywhere near Haze. Off camera now, I'm just going to curl my lashes, apply mascara, and I will be right back with you to do my false lashes. The lashes I'm going to be using for today's look are going to be the Crave Lashes in the pair Red Velvet. While the glue dries on my lash, I'm going to do my brow highlight and for that I'm using my Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and I'm going to use the shade Pink Heart right here. And this also just helps blend out that remaining bit of haze. And this is the completed eye look. So this completes my review slash tutorial of the Melt Cosmetics Haze Stack. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and that you might be interested in the Haze Stack yourself. I will leave links below as always. I will leave the rest of what's on my face down in the down bar as always as well. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you guys enjoy my videos. Give this one a thumbs up if you'd like to see more like this one. Don't forget to check out my social media links down below because I update there daily. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!